kind of wrong, and maybe it is wrong. Yeah, but well, they don't boys want to girls, uh, in that way. I mean, I see kids, I'm like, hey, you know, you want to go for ice cream? I'll put you on the swing, 34. and that's it. You know, show them a nice, fun time as a kid. Yeah. But then I think Michael Jackson might have taken that to, like, maybe, you know, to the to the 10th level. A comedian mm-hmm. said that Michael Jackson was the best host in the world. He seems like a pretty cool dude, and, you know, like, people... Definitely no. a great entertainer, He for said sure. Michael Jackson would, like... <laughs> like he would, would say, like, Michael Jackson would like invite you to his house, give you food, anything you want to eat, cotton candy, play in the park, and he'd suck your dick. Whatever. I was also at a party. Best host in the world. <laughs> I was like, you know, Smacked up. <laughs> we can smoke a cigarette, we can watch movies, do some coke, and I'll suck your dick. That's always a good host. For me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this conversation what took a wrong this? turn. What movie is no, this? this? Wrong is, turn. This, is, this happened to my friend who I left at a party years ago. This is like back when we were like our early 20s, late teens. I can't even remember. Yeah. But um, I left because my cousin got sick. She drank a little too much, so I took her home. And then, no, no, no. I left because, yeah, I left because of something else. But my friend actually stayed behind to watch my cousin because she wasn't feeling well. And her friend was going to come pick her up. And he stayed there, and, like, the party died out, and he was just there with the host. And the host was like, hey, you know, like, we're just hanging out. You know, I got some extra food, maybe watch a movie, do some matching. coke, and I'll suck your dick. And my <laughs> friend was like, no, fuck no. <laughs> Took my cousin, put her over his shoulder, like, ran out. <laughs> Why, you, he didn't accept the offer? I mean, the guy was trying to be nice. Well, that's like what I said earlier, you know, that's, he's just being a host. Oh, <laughs> so, you know, I'll take care of you. Babe, Jakey wants to join. But I was like... Pick him up. I didn't... I didn't... That's what he said, you know. And you know what? He's a he's a pretty, you know, stand-up guy, so I believe what he said. No, no, for sure. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying he's lying. And I ne- we never, true. you know, and the thing was, we went to that, um, we went to that house for quite a few parties, and I never noticed anything out of the ordinary, only because, you know, there's a bunch of people there. I don't know. A bunch of weird but after that, it one incident, <clears throat> my buddy was like, "Yeah, we're never going ever going there again." I was like, "Yeah, like, fuck that." Fine by me. I got to suck my I'm dick. Cool. That's scary to me. That's creepy. Do you know what? Do you know what's fucked up about this stuff? Like, women feel like that all the time. I, oh yeah, getting catcalled. <laughs> yeah, getting yeah. touched. It's different. Deeply inside. Imagine if no, you it's were one- like some guy wants to well, fuck me. <clears throat> we're gonna fight. You know, like we're gonna fight before he fuck before like he if he. he able to fuck me it's gonna have to be with me unconscious if a guy comes over like hey i'm gonna put up your ass oh my i'm gonna God. say like throw out. I can't. are you ready to fight are you ready to fucking fight because that's subject. what's gonna happen next subject so uh childhood dreams julia what, what did you have dreams as a child this microphone is in your fu- in front of your fucking face hold on oh my god jiggy i can't your breath smells Put them down on the ground. Okay, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, Jakey. It's our fault. We should brush our teeth more often. So, Anyways. No, childhood dreams. What, what was your dream growing up? I dreamt to be a professional dancer. Like, to be become a choreographer for celebrities. That was my dream. That was your dream? Yeah. So, and, yeah, that was my dream. I was really into dancing and singing. Oh, that's better. Yeah. What was your childhood dream, Case? Case dreamed to be a choreographer, dancer. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Tiago hit it right on the bell. Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. What, is, right what was it? Uh, I didn't really have one, except I, I, when we were in kindergarten, we would have this time... Um, of the day in the class where the teacher was like, all right, you know, go off, get your toys, go play with whatever. And I always run to the, the fire, firefighter helmet. Because I wanted, you wanted to be, to be a firefighter. Oh, I wanted, yeah, I wanted to be a firefighter. You would have been a good a firefighter. <clears throat> yeah, that's what it was. And why didn't you like pursue? You never thought about it. Never. No, I never really pursued never it. And, and when it got to it, it's kind of like, yeah, it sounds like a lot of responsibility. I don't want to stay in a firehouse for like you know, 16 hours a day. It's a lot of commitment. Especially when you have a family. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It's kind of like, I want to be out. Case is single. <clears throat> but I want to yeah, be out. Yeah, that would be perfect for and you And I want right to do now. things. I don't, I don't want to be, you know, confined to, to just staying there for 16 hours a day. Obviously, you know, it, it's a great. Yeah, but no, they're like two days in, two days out, man. Yeah. Three days but, out, some shit. And then three days in, two days out. It's kind of like that. Yeah. So, like, you have time. It's, it's more of that kind of schedule and structure you have to commit yourself to. 
which is what I didn't want. But Obviously, the, it, yeah. it didn't align what what I wanted as personal freedom plus yeah. a career. You know, I mean, I respect you know all the guys that does it because you know what it's it's a fan. I hear it's a fantastic job. You you, you bond you you make you make bonds of brotherhoods in the. The what is it? The the this, this, the the district house that you're in. Yeah, yeah. You're you're beca- to, you guys become like you know, yeah. You're pretty family, much family you know. Yeah. And not only that, these guys are going out and saving people. They're they're the, the heroes. heroes in the background that you don't hear about all the time. Yeah, you know? no medals these, for them, dude. <clears throat> no, and you know, and these guys, they they even you know, it doesn't matter if it's a cat stuck in a tree or it's a false alarm. They all respond to it, you know, and they're the first one on the scene, <clears throat> and they don't get enough credit for it either, which I believe. I, I don't think no, so. I, I, mean, well, for I me, think I give them credit. Cops they don't, don't get, get enough, enough credit, credit. I think on the me in the media. In the media, because how much do you hear about the firefighters like fire saving? Day, but there's no right, versus like you hear about the cops coming in to save the day. I think it's opposite. I think now, if you're a firefighter, everybody fucking loves your ass. But if you're a cop. And lots really of people are like, oh, cops are assholes. It's like no, no, no. But it's not too, all let's cops put it are oh, Okay, okay. Let's put it this way, right? Out of a hundred people, random, out of a hundred people, how many do you think are assholes? Ninety five percent of them. No, come on. I'd say ten percent of them. Ten percent? So you think ten percent out of a hundred? Yeah. No, you say ten percent of out of a hundred just regular people, right? Regular Mm -hmm. people who are assholes. Oh regular people? Oh no. Okay. No, just just calm down. Out of a random selective group of people. How many are assholes? If you have a hundred people, how many are assholes? Ten percent. What, what do you consider an no. asshole? Ten percent. Fifty. Oh my God, babe, general asshole. Why you gotta make it like this? Fifty like, percent. Yeah. Half of them are assholes. No, I don't think so. Yes, I think. Uh, so. you, you think in real life? Do you yeah. think half of the people you meet are assholes? I yeah. don't think so. Well, they're not gonna be. I'm still gonna keep ten percent. They're not gonna be nice I believe to you there's always off good the bat. People, they're gonna so. be an ass. But the other I mean, half. That's why I'm saying define define I mean, asshole. Like, actual, what are you talking about? You know about? what an asshole is. No, I don't. It's the plumber that come. Okay, so out of like a hundred plumbers, let's say ten percent of all plumbers are assholes. He comes in, his crack is showing. He does a shitty fucking job. He doesn't give a shit. He overcharges you ass because you don't know anything about plumbing, and then he leaves. Scammers. And then you, asshole. <laughs> it's the same shit. Okay, I still say 10%. Do you know what I'm saying? So 10% are actual assholes. They're going to scheme you out of money. They're going to, they're not going to give a fuck about what you need. They're going to get what they need out of you and bounce. And they're not going to have any empathy for you. They only think about themselves. So he said 50. What are you saying? I'm going to say about 20% of people are assholes. So let's say out of, and this is just as a random group of people. So let's say out of, a hundred cops, maybe, 10%. maybe you're gonna have ten to twenty percent that are bad. Not bad, but that are jerks, Perfect. you know? Yeah. So those are really shown in the media, but the cops that are good don't really get shown as much. Because it's easy to like see negativity, but it's hard to see. Well positivity. negativity travels faster than positivity anyways. Yeah, but like well, bad news like, always oh, travel oh, faster bad, than good news. Bad cop, bad cop, and then people yeah. share that shit on Facebook well, like it's, it's just, fu- like they're fapping on their fucking vagina. Spreading faster, but we also we also um, what is it? We will speak we will always speak aloud more about negativity than the positive. Stand up positive. Yes. This chair's you know. annoying. We don't we don't give more credit towards the positive things that happen, no, but we'll not. always we'll always complain, make complaints, and whine about something that went bad about everything. Yeah, people you know? complain a lot. Yeah, we're, no, we're not gonna go and say, "Oh my God, he was great today," you know. But it's more like you know he treated me like shit. He's an asshole. Yeah, you, know, you know that's it's true like, because oh, I see a lot of people. I got pulled over. He gave me a ticket. I don't deserve it. Blah blah blah. But you know what? Maybe you did deserve it, but you saw things only to your own how about, perspective. How about when you drive by and the cop sees that you're going over the speed limit? He could give you a ticket, but then he goes, you know what? Let it be. But that's the one that you don't think about. But he doesn't, st- he doesn't even stop you. He no. just lets you go. And the fact that that didn't happen didn't register. So that never happened. Yeah. But he will come back, say the same exact scenario, reverse it by two minutes, same exact scenario. And the cops actually did come out. Last week, oh my God, he got me. I was only going like five miles per hour over the speed limit. I don't deserve it. Those are the one that gets reported. And those are the one that gets a complaint. And you know what? He's just doing his job. Yep. Your well, ass first no of all, better. why are you speeding? Yep. Two, why did you run that red light? 
That's a perfect example. It's funny you say that because I just brought my little brother to get his license yesterday for his road test. He passed. But he kept saying, he failed the first time. He got it done the first time. But he kept saying that the officer that was constructing his road test is an asshole. I'm like, why? He's just doing his job. But he's, he's an asshole. He gave me, he failed me just because I didn't take the left. I'm like, no, I'm sure he failed you because no. he didn't feel you were right. Did he, did, he tell, did he tell him to take a left? Yeah, and he didn't take a left. The first time that he failed. No, but did, did the officer say take a left? I wasn't there. But let's just say if the officer said take a left and he didn't take a left and that's a, a, a unpassable offense, then he's just doing his job. That's exactly what I told my little brother, but yeah. he, kept, he kept saying, oh, yeah. no, he's just an asshole. I'm like, no, he's just doing his and job. And the thing is, this officer might have had another 50 per people, you know, that went to take this test. And he's not going to make, you know, exceptions for each and every single person. There's you can't. When you're you doing can. that type of test with everybody each and every day, there's a stand that you, you have to... Like, yeah. I feel like the, the health board guy here is like that, too. Yeah. He doesn't let anything pass because he doesn't let anything pass for anyone. Yeah, he has a standard you know? that he goes into. He tells me, the thing like, is, if I leave it for you, then I got to do right. it for him. And it's just for and you. And now it becomes a trend. That's but to you, it's like it's just you and your own perspective yeah. versus what he sees as a wider. He broad sees the whole. Spectrum. You only see your personal right. problem. And he's like, "Oh well, he shouldn't tag me for that. He shouldn't be tagged for that," you know. But yeah. then, like, if he goes out and he sees so much more, and it's like, you can't like. And there's a there's that thing too where it's like you versus me. It's like what you see is your perspective. What I see is also my perspective. That's what. That's but why we're trying to meet in the say. middle, and it's like. You can't take it personally when it comes to that. Or an officer putting you over, or maybe just a random stranger on the street that, you know, bumps into you by accident. And you're like, dude, which way are you going? He's like, burr, burr, burr. Yeah. You know, well, you Julia got yelled at because. I got yelled at yesterday. That's why I wrote a status on Facebook and I was saying, what? I was asking why people are so angry. Because I was going into the parking lot and this guy was speeding in the parking lot. He was going like, 30 in a parking lot oh. so he's coming this way and I was going this way and we stopped right there we didn't even we didn't even crash or anything but he had the audacity to just roll down his window he stopped his car rolled down his window and he like nah, 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 whatever he was saying I can't hear because my window was rolled up but I'm like I just looked at him like mm -hmm. and I just go you know I did the gestures like just go like what's the point of you bad mouth when we didn't even like, get this into bitch a crash. Just telling me to fucking go like bitch you fucking tell me to go bitch <laughs> Yeah. I'm just angry inside. And I was so calm. I'm always calm when people yell at me just because, I don't know, I'm just more patient she and just calm. Like this I don't overreact. Yeah. So I was like, go ahead. And then I'm just like, why is this guy so angry? And then I thought, and then I thought, okay, you, you, I know why he's angry. I'm you can, you say, can say it. You can say uh, Do you want me to say it for you? Whatever. Say it. He's <laughs> angry because he's fat. <laughs> so, okay. all, right, all right. All right. I have a theory, right? That's and I'm not mean. saying. I don't mean. And I'm not saying all fat people are angry, okay? <laughs> but <laughs> if you are, if wrong. you are way overweight, and I and I don't mean like 20 pounds overweight. I mean like 50 pounds overweight. So if you're way overweight, you're not happy. 100, percent you're not happy. I will bet you. If they're all like, oh, I'm curvy and I'm happy as a, shut your face. Let me, and I know you look in the mirror and you want to look like Giselle Bündchen. I'm not saying Giselle Bündchen has it. No, but you do, you want, well, okay. You want to look like Cardi B then? You want to look like Cardi B then? Okay, because all these girls that are bigger. Some the way Cardi B looks. They like the big booty and the curves. But that's what I'm saying. Like those chicks that have the big old belly and they're like really big, they're angry. You do the test, all right? You're driving well, by. Yeah, there's a fat girl and a skinny girl. Babe, and then you beep as you drive by. The only one that's going to show you the finger is the fat girl. It's because of their hormones. I know some big girls that are really nice. And I know some big girls that are really angry. So it's like 50-50. We also know that what you eat is what makes your... your your mood that produces good hormones mm. and stuff like that yes yeah. we all know so that. like if you're stuffing your face with crap food yeah all the fucking time you're gonna be an angry fuck like you're just gonna be angry because you got crappy food you feel like shit you got indigestion you take huge shits your butthole hurts or something there's all crazy stuff going on and it's like well a lot, of, a lot of people don't understand when you're feeding your stuff with fast food your your gut you're collecting bad bacteria so yeah. the brain and gut connection They're is bad real. Ombres. there's a book on the brain and gut connection, which I highly recommend people read and go buy it. It's really fascinating. 
and it makes a lot of sense. That's why you see a lot of bigger people, they're kind of moody because they're, they have so much bad bacteria in their gut and their hormones are going crazy, they're just angry, cortisol spiking up. So it's like, okay, I get you. You can be hating life, but I'm happy with my life. I love my life. So you can swear at me, just go on your way, get out of my way so I can park my car. <laughs> like, dude, go. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say like that's a defining factor of you know, just the fact you're of how angry race. someone is. I no, know no. some angry, skinny people too, though. Yeah, exactly. Not so you every the, skinny people like, are healthy, though. That's the thing. People's weight doesn't determine their mood. No, no. You know? what people no. ingest determines their mood. But I believe that strongly. It's their own personal life that is going on at the moment determines their environmentally mood. too. You yes, know? of course. Not not environmentally, but whatever they're going through, they may be chemically imbalanced. One, that's a factor. Two, it yeah, could that's be like it could be you know maybe they cu got cut off five times earlier and now they're not going to take it anymore so they're just going to take it on whoever you yeah. know it's it's v so subjective on like people's mood out there in the street and you know on the strangers it's also that what's going on during that day too i think that you, that you can't compare it like you know but, but here's the thing some but, people are fucking angry at life and that's that's their issue and the best way we can approach that is to just brush it off, especially with strangers. Yeah, exactly. You know, like like with you. You know, you said, "Oh, hi." You know, go go about your day. He probably was so that's mad. That's the best. He probably was so mad. Like the best if, reaction if you I take. beep at you and you go, I'd be like, "Yeah, you can't fight." You know? fight and guess what? Fire. I You're fucking gonna, bite my lips. <laughs> and that's a personal issue you Tiago have to work out. Well, Tiago would have freaked out. And guess what? <laughs> if you had bad blood pressure already, you know. Like that would have just spiked it. And yeah, high blood. I'm sorry, <laughs> high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Like that could have like put you over the top. And guess what? You might have been dead on the spot with high a heart blood attack. High blood pressure. It's, but he, but it's all. For me, it's, it's like all this. To the, no, if you it's beep all at me, individuals. If you beep at me and I'm on the light, I'm cool. Like, all right, I'm taking too long because I do that. I do all that a lot, time. and I'm fine with that. But <laughs> if you fucking like talk to me and you fucking swear at me and stuff, I fucking get crazy on the other side of the car. It's like I'm not gonna stop or like. Oh, like if you see let's them in your rear view going crazy. <laughs> it's like you know what? Fuck you, bitch. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. You drive like shit. You look like shit. You drive like shit. Go get a fucking perm, bitch. I don't know. It just gets crazy. But here's where I'm trying to like find a point of where it stems from. It's like why you? Why should you react to how they're reacting? I don't know. You shouldn't react to. It's how a reaction. Reacting. It's not like it's not like you are predicting. Well, no, what it's you're it's do. an instant reaction. But if you really sat and thought about it for a second, it's like I shouldn't have reacted like that. Maybe the person afterwards, at you afterwards, you're like, what the fuck? It's saying I the doing? same thing. Yeah. But again, maybe that the guy, the asshole behind you, is having a really bad day. He didn't get laid in the morning. His, yeah. his wife just divorced him. I didn't get laid in the morning. Sent him a subpoena. Uh, maybe he found out that he was adopted that morning. I, I don't he know. Got there's, fired. So many, there's so many variables out there that can set someone off to have a bad day. But the best way you can, the best way you. No, or we're putting I, a lot of variables in place. But I'm just saying, like in general, people it. getting. I think it's like most people on a daily interaction. They're they're good people. They're easy. Like if you're in the line for Dunkin' Donuts, and the guy behind you, he'll wait. You could be ordering all sorts of shit. You could be changing your mind. He might sigh a little bit, but he'll wait. He's not going to, like, yeah. have a horn in his pocket and go, all he bitch, wants bitch get off the way, bitch. Like, he won't say anything. But as soon as that guy is behind you in traffic. But that's a social condition, though. road rage. See, that's a social condition. Once you're in a metal box, you, you think know. you're invincible. But it's not just... It's not just the metal box the metal does box. make people get crazy though. It's just not that. It's I don't also get, I don't get that. The, the keyboard in front of you that makes you go crazy. Oh no, that's worse. That's even well, worse. Well, actually, I understand people with road rage. Okay, but I don't get why you would go out of your way. So some say somebody cut you off, beeped at you, cut you off, and then you would follow that car for the next three miles just to just to be an asshole I for did. no reason. I, I did. You know why? Why? Because Explain. I had a, psycho. I had a terrible day that day. Oh, yeah, Everything you went, you went was bad that day, and this but guy. But why? That's such. She takes so much energy just following this car and being an asshole too. Because what if you that know guy what? had a gun and he would have pulled over and shot you in the head? Like, that's okay. Don't you think of those scenarios that's, when you're doing that? I did, like, and I totally accepted it. <sighs> because you know what? Up. I was going home. I had nothing else to do except to go home, and this guy had to tailgate me, and I was like, "Fuck this nigga." <laughs> And I let him pass me. Damn. I pulled over. Yeah. I let him pass me, and I followed him the rest of the way. 
And as soon as like I followed for like I don't know maybe a few miles up to whoever know the hell know I was at, he pu finally pulled over at a library right next to a police station. What? And I saw I noticed everything. I got out of the car and I went around to him. I was like, you know what? That's really smart of you to pull up in front of a police station. Because wow. I don't know what I was going to do, and I don't know what you were going to do. But hey, you know what? I came here. I took my chance. I was like, what's your name? I wanted to fight you. You know, he's like, my let's, name's Ian. Let's fucking fight. I was like, Ian, why the hell do you, why were you tailgating me so badly back there earlier? And he goes, I was. And I was like, dude, don't play down with me. Yeah, you were. You even tailgated the guy in front of me. You should have said, let's fight. In front of you when I was behind you. Let's I saw fight. everything about you. And I was like, you know what? Like, what the hell was your problem? Yeah. And he goes, well, you know what? I had a bad day at work, and the guy behind me was tailgating me. I think that's why I was tailgating you. I was like, well, it's kind of obvious because when I let you pass me, you were tailgating the guy behind you, too. And, like, I went through a whole spiel. I was like, you know what? Who, who gives a fuck? Oh, actually, let yeah, it go. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I did that, and I was like... No I got violence. out of the car. There was so no, no, no violence. I stood there and I wow, talked. Wow, you guys are cool. I would have just fucking swung. Such an adult. It would have been some swing, swing and shit. If you want to swing, let's swing. I don't care. No, nah, I would have said like... I'll you, break his mirror. I'll break his window. No, no, no. Fuck that. I'm not damaging where, cars. I'm like, I'm damaging. That day, I just didn't give a fuck. You know? Because yeah. it was bad enough already. It's like, it doesn't even matter. Like, how can it get worse? You know? You could make it worse. That's, it didn't that's, matter. That's what and was going to happen. But and his state of mind at the time. But, yeah, I know. Yeah, my state. And, and that's the thing where it comes back to the guy who was driving 30 miles per hour in, the par in, in a parking lot. You know, his state of mind could have been off. And that's where I, I kind of come back and say, you know what? Let that individual be. But that's the best way you can react. Yeah. You know? I, I there, don't overreact when There it comes are to bad the confrontations because when I did it... To this person, when I followed him, so there was an altercation. There was an altercation. How's my hair? Weeks ago, your hair is fabulous. <laughs> there was an altercation before that that was on the news about that road rage here locally, yeah. where somebody cut him off. They exchanged and the girl, words, and the girl shot him through the window. Yeah, the yeah. guy came out oh, of the yeah, car and she yeah. shot him, and he died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I knew about that. I think altercation. I think she sh she shot him while he, did he come out of the car? He was he getting out of the car and she was appro he was approaching her. Her door. But that was an altercation I, I knew. You just And I was like, you know what? That. I'm I'm you were ready. Down with it. Whatever. Fuck it. It's it was it was up. bad enough already, it's but fun. I wanna see what this guy has to say. <laughs> Pretty much. That's crazy. You know? Yeah, it was kinda crazy. But I had I was at a point where I had enough. Yeah. And we all had that, right? Not not me. I've I've never had that. You had a day where it's like, I don't care. No. Whatever. Not on the road like What do you that, say, no. Jake? What do you say? I don't know if Tiago, have you ever had that? No, have you, you followed know. anybody? No, I've gotten out of the car once. Why? I don't know. The guy was like yelling. <laughs> that brings me back to when he I was, was yelling, <laughs> pointing his finger, and he parked behind me. I, I parked, and he parked behind me, and then I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? And then he was like yelling, whatever. I didn't hear what he said. So I got out of the car, and I was like, what's going on? And he gets out of the car, and he's like 5'2", five 5'3". Five mm -hmm. And then he's like, you should be careful or something, what he said. And I'm like, all right, man, go about your day, all right? And then he just got back in his car and left. I think w he thought I was as small as him when he got out of the car. And then when I got out of the car, I was much bigger than him. And he was like, oh, fuck, I'm going to have to fight this guy now. Not that I am huge, but... I'm definitely, I was definitely much larger than him. And then he's like, I don't want to fight. <laughs> so he's like, you, sh you should be careful. Cut people off or something. That's what he said or something. And I'm like, all right. Mm, I can't relate. I yeah, because you're a girl. Big, grab a bottle over there. Maybe it's just me, or but you said 10% of people were assholes. I think those 10% of people are actually talking... Truthfully and honestly, how they feel, and the other forty percent no, that he discounts I'm I'm are keeping are being reserved, based on you know just being out in public, being nice. But when you get you ever okay, so you and I are friends. We know each other. Yeah, you can be a dickhead sometimes. I am definitely a right? uh, dude. I am. I'm in. Let's you, just you, say you, you I can, am fifty percent asshole. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, you and I get along fine. We're, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, like you and I are best friends. Yeah, you have an but understanding. When we go out and we meet people, like, he's an ass. We can't, we can't, we can't, he can't be hanging out with us. Or there'll be people that come here and try to talk to us and, you know, try to, like, you know, get to know us. Like, he's a really cool dude. And all of a sudden, like, after a few times, like, oh, that guy's, that guy, you know, he doesn't work that with guy's us. Out he's of an him. ass. Yeah, he's Maybe he's really nice to another group of people, but he doesn't work with us. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. know. Well, I mean, if you are going to be our friend, you better not be. Yeah, there's a waiting list, people. There's a waiting list. (laughs) No, no, I'm just saying, like, it can't be be sensitive. (laughs) You cannot be sensitive because I'm going to say fuck you all the time. But he's. I am going to say fuck you, piece of shit. Like, why are you being a piece of shit? You know, it's just like I'm gonna swear at you, and and if I swear at you, that means I'm comfortable with you. Yeah, but here's my point. Here's my point with with people in general is kind of like people are out there on the street to be nice for their own safety, but take that away, and who are they honestly? You know, who are they truly? What's they can probably be mean too and be straight oh yeah for sure but I think like but everybody puts on a a good face and and a polite face just to get by so so, so do I if I'm outside I'm not gonna swear I'm not gonna talk so that's why when you said earlier when we're together I feel I am comfortable so I can say whatever the hell I want I know you're not gonna be like what the fuck yeah you're going to be what the fuck but it's gonna be in a different way and it's like Tiago's out of his fucking mind but it's Tiago. But going back to what we said earlier, like you, when you asked me how many people out there do you think are really assholes, and that's why I said 50%. Truly, honestly, yeah, probably are 50%. Oh, well, you, when you who put they it that are, way. That's, that's what I took it as. Oh, okay. So wow. just to go Can't back. I'm mad deep. If I'm, you know. Analyzed it like a I fucking, know. he's I'm a not, goddamn social computer. I'm not that jaded. I'm slightly <laughs> jaded, but you I'm mean not naive? Jaded. Are you calling me naive? <laughs> no. But that's 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 where I, I called thought, you naive. That's where I thought on the level I, call I thought. You, naive all the time. you know, baby, you don't call me naive. You call me stupid. No, I don't. Only when I'm mad at you. The mass general is nice for their own safety. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But get to know them, they're probably the general weird man. And crazy. That's how it should be, though. Well, yeah, it is how it should be. Because I can admit when guys walk down and say hi, how you doing? I'm like, I'm good. I just say it just so I won't get chased or I don't know if I'm, I'm like fuck off then they're gonna come and like I don't do something yell at you or something you know? yeah you see how you smile other guys yeah, like, I'm just nice yeah, yeah. but if you what smile you? that means you want some I know right <laughs> <laughs> you know those guys that are like, I know. oh my I god, dude, dick. she well, smiled at me, dude. Well, they only have one thing on their <laughs> head, which is, Getting you know, something tonight. maybe, maybe look a little higher somewhere else and, and think of it oh, on a different plane rather yeah. than just on a sexual level. Yeah. But you know, like you, you approach a person, it's like, oh, you know, they're friendly. Would you, would you rather have it that she walks around with a resting bitch face forever and ever to everyone else? Oh fuck no! No, that's, no. that's not. I don't. Cool. I don't like people like that in general. No. Like I don't like people with resting bitch. Face. Yeah. Well, resting bitch face is it's, it's a disease. It. Well, we all have and you it. You can't change is, that. We all have it. You know. No, but like with like with, I just I want Julia to be nice to people. You know? Well, you have you. Well, you want to be nice to everyone in general, but not. Not be nice just for the sake of your own safety, but be nice because you, you want to be nice. You want to be treated as how you you want to be treat treated how you by treated as you treat yeah. people. Yeah, you know, like obviously, like for me, I don't want any harm to come to anyone or any strangers that I see. Mm-hmm. Even though I don't know them, I don't really care. But you know what? I don't want to see any harm. Some people just some people like I don't give a fuck. You just walk away. And that brings me up to another one where the dude like fainted on the side on the sidewalk in New York City, and like they, it was on video camera too. The dude just fainted. He was like halfway on the street, and like people just walked by, walking over him. You know why? Because they thought he was drunk, homeless, or pro- drunk or homeless. Because it happens so often in it's New York. Still a human being. Yeah, but yeah, people but don't give a fuck. There are people sleeping that's right. on the road. That's right. Yeah. Wait, what did you say? People don't give a fuck. That's what I said. That's Do you know why? I think it's, people don't but it's know. a, condi- it's they don't a know condition. It's a normal guy that he's not homeless, he's not a drunk or anything like that. He doesn't no, but they don't know let, he has let, a me say let me say this to you. What happens is it's so common to see someone passed out in the street in New York that if you see someone passed out in the street, it's just a common occurrence of everyday life. So that's why people don't do it. But I don't think people are, are bad because if that happened in fucking Chelmsford and that person from New York was in Chelmsford living for the past six months, it's something that doesn't happen a lot. So if he sees someone, he would have called you know, an ambulance right away So because it's not something he sees a lot. But if you see that a lot and you know that most people like most of those people that are passed out on the side of the road just drunks and homeless people that are just drunk on the side of the road then you don't really give it's a okay shit. from the past but i get case i get what you're saying because there was a video of i saw a video and they were doing a test so they had this little girl going to a restaurant dressed really nice 
and like she's all well cleaned and pretty pretty little girl and she went to the restaurant asking people for food and then they yep, helped her that. out yeah right. they helped her out and then the that. same little girl came in looking like you know homeless and nobody really wanted to help her out they just like walked away yeah. from her so people are vain in a sense and they had to they had to stop that experiment early because the little girl <sighs> was like she was like i, I don't she like this she was yeah. she was starting to be like i don't like this i don't i don't you know people treat me like crap and they couldn't continue with the experiment a little longer yeah. than they wanted to. They stopped it that because she so felt sad. really bad. That was so sad. You know. But I get what but you're yeah, saying. It's yeah. it's like, I mean, it's another human being. Now, if I, I used to hand out to, to panhandlers. Fuck that. I was walking not anymore? Not no more. Well, yeah, not anymore. But, you know, after I read about them and people reported them on who they actually are, I was like, wow, that's kind of dirty. So, no. Yeah. You know, I mean, there are still a couple who, like, I see consistently in the same spot doing the same thing. I was like, okay, he might be having issues. But I keep seeing different people popping up in different areas. It's kind of like, oh, <clears> you're <throat> just passing through. Just move on to the next place, buddy. It's not going to happen. Yeah. You know, I, and the thing is, like, I do pity them. I do, like, kind of, like, I. they need to... Because you don't know if they're... Right, you, feel, you feel bad. Yeah, you feel I feel bad. You don't know what they're really looking for. You know, you know what's know fucked what up? Cases. Do you know what's fucked up about, like, the panhandlers and those homeless people and people outside? Those people were babies. Those people were children at one time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's what like, Joe Rogan were, always says. He, yeah. Joe Rogan always look at people at the age of two. Like, if you're a guy and you're, you're an old guy and you're really mean, he always thinks, oh, what happened in his life to make him that way? To make him so yeah. kind, to yeah. make him yeah. so angry. Like, you're trying to So analyze. that's the way I look at life, too. That's how I've been looking at life. So that's why when that guy was angry and he just yelled at me for no reason, I'm like, that's okay. Your angry, life must suck. So you thought he was an angry baby? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get his milk He didn't get time. his milk, no. He wasn't breastfed. <laughs> he didn't suck on no titties, he you angry. No titties. <laughs> Your mama gave you fucking cow milk from birth. Oh, jeez. <laughs> anyway, we were talking about um, what was a childhood dream. It's okay, <laughs> said firefighter, so you? I said firefighter, you? Me? There were two Wait, things I wanted to be. Professional fighter. I wanted to be a professional fighter. Mm -hmm. You kind of became one. Almost amateur yeah, level. Yeah, amateur level. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still. And I wanted to be an astronaut. It's not too late. But I, but, but the main one was I wanted to be in the army. Isn't that crazy? Okay. What What made you stray away or? Life. Life. Yeah. From becoming an army dude or an astronaut? From an army, yeah. I mean, the astronaut one, every kid wants to be an astronaut. I, th I thought I was cool as hell. Do and you then, think, like, you can still try to pursue that? I mean, there I don't are think people so. out there who actually go out and became astronauts. They don't yeah, but I'm not a right scientist. Now. Like, all astronauts now are scientists. Yeah, some sort of... Some I'm an artist. I'm not a scientist. Maybe you can go up there and, and... I would have to go to college and study for the next 10 years. And then by then I'd that. be, like, 43... And then, you know, you think to get my doctor in the 20s and 30s? No, they're all in their 40s for sure, but they're all like prestigious work at prestigious colleges or like some of them are pilot the ones that are piloting, you know, those ships are 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 um veterans from the Air Force, you know. Like they pilot airplanes in the Air Force like jets and stuff like that. And that's why they got the job to pilot the shuttle at the time. So let me ask you a different question. So it's like question. people who have like those aptitudes. If you were able to contribute to be an astronaut, what would you say you can contribute today? Me? Yes, as, as an astronaut. As a test subject. <laughs> test subject. We always need test subjects. Yeah, <laughs> as, as, a, as another test subject. That's a to family decision. Babe, I... True. You it's guys are married. Julia. It is a family Julia. decision. I would not lie Julia. to you. It's hypothetical. Mm -hmm. It is a hypothetical I question. I know. Well. Hypothetically. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'd be a test subject. Send me up there and do test, see how someone as myself, you know, would, would fare to be up there. So, like, you know, of course I would have to be academ academically, you know, taught, you know, certain, some, something some type of job for me to be doing over there but then to come back and then they would test and see how you know the time and space has affected you know my diabetes or has affected my system in general so, i mean i think that would be the what i could contribute 
contribute or or I'll tattoo people up there. Who knows? Let's see if we can do that <laughs> shit. Hey, that's always an idea. <laughs> yeah. Dude, mm-hmm. I was talking with um I don't know if I told you. Oh, so I went to get my fingerprints um for my green card. Updating that first. Okay. Before I move on to my citizenship. And I was talking to the lady who was doing that stuff. I was like, oh shit, technology. Like, it's fingerprint all, all computer stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, it's not no like. Scans. The, they no don't, they don't the don't get your fingers dirty no anymore. Ink, right. And I said, wow, it's really tough. And she's like, yeah, you know, now we can't make mistakes <laughs> with the prints. And, um, and then she saw my tattoos and she was like, oh yeah, they even have like things where they wrap around your arm. Like, um, you know, the, when they check your blood pressure? They yeah. wrap it around your the arm. Yeah, they th- it's like that system, and there's an image of what you want, and the whatever thing they wrap around your arm prints that onto your arm as a tattoo, and it's a permanent tattoo. She says, it, "Yeah, and it's quick, and it says it's like, like a just like out. that. Just print out on your arm. The scanning of the of the fingerprints is like that to what she saw with the tattoo thingy. Wow. Where did she, she said see that? She said she saw it on television somewhere. Mm. You know." Oh wow! But I was like, so oh, where, wow. where did you go? You went to the immigration office? Uh, yeah, I went to the one in Lawrence. Oh shoot! Yeah. You just renewing your green card? I yeah, I renewed it because um, because the new travel thing that passed, like state is repealing it, but like certain states are like, if you're going to be traveling within state, you have to show like two identifications. Passport ID. You know, they require really? people with a passport yeah. now. Massachusetts is one of the states that's kind of repealing it, where it's like you only need one ID, you don't need a like, secondary ID, where they're kind of like passport almost yeah there's a few states now that you have to have a passport yeah so you so yeah. you want to renew your yeah your so card. i want to update my card my, we need to get our card. they call it the real id we need to get that soon yeah there's a thing called real id yeah. it's not it's not they won't accept just the gov- uh the state license oh, shoot. it's it is a government issue but they won't accept that as the real id like she was talking about yeah, we'll it's really convoluted. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's not. It's not. Um, Canada, no you need a passport. Yet, right? yeah. Canada has it's a passport, not, but our ID is an old ID. Yeah, in the United States, it's not ID universally yet. like a, no. A thing if yet, you have your passport, you can but do it's state per state. The thing is, it's more of a hassle if you don't have it right now, if the state requires it. But it's not going to prevent you from like going anywhere, or get you thrown in jail, or kicked out of the country yeah, yeah. or state. <laughs> yeah, that's but too it's much. So it's out of this. But the thing was, it's a like. I never follow up on it, but apparently it was a law that was trying to be passed since like 2000, fuck, 2004, I want to say. But oh. there was like so many repeals from different states that now like a lot of states are actually for it, where now there's less states that are trying to repeal it. But it came into effect where so many states are for it, where it's kind of like, yeah, certain states, if they do require that, you'll have to give it. Otherwise, you'll probably have to jump into a rental car that, yeah, and there's only like drive to the next for state. Now. What the hell? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's bullshit, yeah. man. You know, hey, you know that's not going to work, right? It, dude, it's already happening. We'll see. Yeah, well, it's not going to work. Unless, unless the United States sets up like a real ID for every, like a national Yeah, the ID. deadline is 2020 yeah. for everyone well, to get the their thing. ID. It's, it's per state. So per state, some state are actually for it and favor it. And that's where it's being like enforced and carried out. But like I said, Massachusetts is one of those that's repealing it, so it's not carried out here in, this, in Massachusetts. So it's sure. a state for state thing. It's not. It's not on a federal level yet. But yeah, then that, that's one of the reasons why I went to update my thing. So if I want, if I want to go to like you know, if I want to fly down to Texas again or maybe California, mm-hmm. I won't have that issue. Well, you know, with your green, you get your new green card, you can go to, you can leave the United States. Yeah, with my new green card, then I can get, like, another passport and actually go, go to the country. Yeah. Go to Cambodia. Yeah, I can go wherever, and that's the thing, too. It's like, loud. I might as well just do that now, so maybe, like, in a couple Jake's months, good. if I want, get a passport and go visit other countries, because... In the process, while I'm getting my citizenship, I don't have to wait like a whole entire yes, year or Kay's so. Yes, gonna get his citizenship. Yeah, it's on its way. With the champagne bottle. <laughs> well, it's, it's, a, on its, way. it's a start. Let's so not celebrate good. anything yet too pre- prematurely. Well, I'm just gonna like move out of here and stay positive in. vibes. Positive vibes. I'm gonna go to Africa. Why would you go to Africa? Because I want to go to Cape Town. I want to run with the giraffes and rhinos. If there are any left. You want to run with giraffes? Naked. I can do that too. <laughs> 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 just case ding dongs fucking shaking oh God, it that's left a, and that's right. That's a hilarious sight. You know, would be like doing that dance. How do you do that dance? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
Hey, don't get hurt. Everyone's doing that dance. I look like an idiot right now. It's so funny. I don't know You're why. supposed to look like an idiot anyway, so. <laughs> it's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> um, what bothers you about kids today? That they don't know how to go play outside. <laughs> they don't know how to play outside. That's true. Yeah. That is like actually really They'd true. They'd rather be on their phone or tablet or computer. See, Jacob, stop being on your phone or tablet. Even like when I go out to eat, I see people just on their phone. My client today, she has a two-year-old and like a five-year-old. And she goes, you know, my son, you know, when he's being fussy, I just give him the switch and the tablet and then he doesn't. Yeah, new babysitters, you know. Because it's an easy way to keep And he goes home. on YouTube. Yeah. Kids fucking watching people yeah. like. Rather than take him and outside and, and, you know, take him out to the park and watch him play or, you know, it's, it's an easy way out. I can see that. I understand. That's why when we have our five kids, they're, go <laughs> they're not going to know what a cell phone, what a, Are what you a, remarrying? What a phone like, is. Like, what's going on? <laughs> they're all going to have flip phones. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna no, know what they're a computer not is. Phones. No, they're gonna have beepers. <laughs> no, what's scary for me? What I can't stand about kids this generation is they're adulting too quickly. They they're trying are scary. to adult too quickly. They are, yeah. Well, they're not yeah. adulting. They're it's trying so to. It's so scary. Like little little nine year olds are talking like they're twenty. What? I got my Gucci bag. Cause they're, are they um. Following, yeah, they're like, like following, they're following trends, a celebrities. lot of influencers. Not even much of celebrities anymore, but influencers. Well, influencers. Like, I'm an influencer. I'm a bad influencer. I influence kids to fight. Do you fight. have a million followers? That's, no, I don't. You're not so an that's influencer. good. <laughs> so that's good. I have like two followers, and that's good because if I have more followers, I'd bad influence more people. Well, you know what? Some of the influencers are good influencer. I mean, that's, well, that's a new term, too, for influencer. today's social media. I know. But then again, like, people are following, like, Kim Kardashian and... You know, she's old news, man. People are still following her, dude. People are following Jake Paul and shit now. People Who's are still Jake following her. They just want to see people... Is it Paul oh, Jake Paul? Paul? Paul yeah. The guy that took a picture with the guy that hung himself? No, that was Paul Logan. Yeah, in Japan, uh, yeah. Paul Logan. Lo yeah. Logan Paul, Logan that's his Paul. brother. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Brother. What are those Paul guys? Thompson. It's Paul, a, Logan, Jake, a, something. Jake Paul and Logan guys. Paul, yeah. They're, oh, they're, they're YouTubers. They're, they're YouTubers. They're brothers? Yes. Yeah. And these guys have, They're rich as fuck. I know. And that's why they're... They got fuck you money. You what know the what? fuck are they still doing? Dude, if I had fuck you money... Whew, what? You're What's supposed that? to say fuck you when you go travel. And that's what they did. You already say that. Yeah, babe, but we travel on a budget. We travel like poor people. We Airbnb because it's, <laughs> it's it's totally different now, and I probably won't understand it. Like when you're on, when you're rich on that level, because that's pretty much what they do. They they have fuck you money. But you know what I'm saying? Like you know when they were like talking shit about Justin Bieber being a douche. Maybe he is driving maybe he his isn't. Ferrari really fast and stuff like that. I was thinking about it. And it's like when I was his age, if I had his money, I'd probably be worse than him. But we do the same thing. He got famous at a young age, so and it was lack of guidance, and it was people who rappers that influenced him to do, you know, take drugs and drive fast. It's not about just it's he not was young. No. If I was as rich was as him young. and young like he was, I'd probably be doing the same thing. And he's in the media. People are gonna talk and they're crazy, probably. and then he also, people do drugs. Also, and they're drugs like, ooh, you know, um, to suppress his pain. Um, Bill Burr said it best. What? And it's like, oh, you know, there's just like. He gets like all these chicks, and then you know, why is he being so promiscuous? And why is he being doing? If he had pussy thrown at you at his age, single ass, are you kidding me? It'd be like Eddie Murphy said, you'd be pussy falling out of your pockets and shit. Be, hey, don't step on my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Hey! Oh, got it. Thank you. I might have to agree with you on that. You don't know. You never know. Like we grew up as we were, and you know that's the, that's the thing that we'll never understand or never never know. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, how how do you grow up like as a kid with that much money, with that much popularity, and like you said, you know, piss, piss, yeah, he's not just rich; he's popular right. as fuck. People will fucking. You know? Let me tell you something. He just he has more exposure than we are. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure if we were exposed as much as he is, we'd be sexy as fuck. With money, hell yeah, I would dude, get, I am sexy. I would get a lot as of work fuck. done. What are you talking about? There's always room for improvement. <laughs> so, improve uh, what? I'm not against improve plastic what? surgery. Have you seen this? <laughs> have you seen Have you this? seen this? Have you? <laughs> I can name a few. 
<laughs> I can name a few areas. I can name a few. No, I'm kidding. So you're saying grow hair, yeah. motherfucker? You're perfect. No, I'm not perfect, but it's okay. No. <laughs> We're yeah. perfect for being, you know, normal people. You, like <laughs> us, we, we make what we can do to survive, right? And we all embrace of a sudden, our flaws. That's if what you we can, can just do. go out there and, like, just throw cash left and right without a care in the world, and you can get anything you want. Yeah. You know, I think things might be a lot different from us. I oh, bet yeah, you, course. like, people like that you can know. fart in public loud. Not right. care. They probably do. Yeah. Not loudly. Do. He probably does. I don't think anybody farts in public loud. You do. Not loud. <laughs> Slightly loud. <laughs> no, I hold it back, dude. I don't want Freaking people to know. Freaking silent killer over here. <laughs> I know a guy who farts in public loud who doesn't give a fuck. Don't yeah. say his name. Comes here once in a while. He's old. Um. He's talking to you. He's just like... Does he listen to your podcast? I don't know. Don't care. We're not, he doesn't know. You might not know what we're talking about, so it doesn't matter. We're not saying his name. Yeah. Just farts. Heavy in conversation. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Mid-conversation. Nobody says anything, but it's just quiet, like crickets, fucking crickets. <laughs> like, who the hell just farted? <laughs> we're like, dude, you got a loose ass? Digestive like, don't issues. fucking let it go. I had my mouth open. Like, why would you do that? There's particles <laughs> of your asshole open. inside my throat. <laughs> it's like Eddie Murphy. My mouth was open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, why did he say that? <laughs> he said that because a guy farted in front of his face. He's like, oh, you got me. My, my mouth was open. <laughs> You know what's the funniest fart joke? What is the funniest fart joke in a movie that you've ever seen? I don't know. One comes up to mind like right away. Mine yeah. is not a fart joke, but it's when in oh, what the hell, D Dumb and Dumber, when Jim Carrey like lit a fire with his fart. Oh, it's a yeah. fart joke. It's a fart <laughs> joke. Yeah. yeah. And everybody's like. <laughs> Um, Adam Sandler click. Oh, no way. <laughs> Adam Sandler click. Which one? Which I part? Forget. He stops time. You know, he's got Oh, the yeah, control. that's right. He, he stops, stops time. <laughs> he <laughs> farts. Oh, my God. Yeah, I thought yeah. he was dead. It's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he let it and rip. And it's like, <laughs> the, the, guy times. Is like the guy is like this. No. Why does my mouth <laughs> taste like shit? <laughs> Why does my sandwich? What is that? What is it? <laughs> Yeah. Why? Why, that was why do I taste like shit? Why is there shit in my mouth? It's like it's a bunch of shit in my mouth. <laughs>